I feel like my biggest message here for you guys is I feel like controlling issues. Like if it isn't you or the other party, but since this reading is for you, I just feel like one of those situations where um, that you guys are loving, caring. A lot of you guys might be like a home mother um, type of person that's always at home. It's like the plays the mother role in the type of relationships. And I feel like the persons that you guys are dealing with, they're possibly kind of like they're kiddish. They're not mature. Uh, enough and I feel like you always play the mother role and it's like you always want to control things like you want things to happen a certain way and when it happens and if it doesn't happen then you want to throw like a little bitch fit if it doesn't work out the way that you want it to um I feel like my biggest message for you is have patience and moderation I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be um it's funny because the last two videos that I did, um, it came up like a birth, possibly a baby or something. Uh, this month, I don't feel so much. For those of you who are pregnant, um, make sure that you take care of yourself, okay? Um, chances are like preeclampsia, diabetes, pre digestional diabetes make sure you take care of yourself um uh, i feel like a lot of you guys might even be real sick with um with pregnancy or something like always throwing up or always tired always sleeping check yourself out because if that's the case something got to be wrong with you if you're caring you're, you're eating for two so make sure you remember to eat and take a lot of nutrition okay nutrition is like the biggest thing but i don't want to get out of um conversation uh but i feel like since the middle card is in the middle, this card's in the middle, I feel like what this is trying to tell me is that this overcodes the entire reading. And I feel like you're persevering despite setbacks. I feel like there's a lot of setbacks. A lot of you guys are dealing with somebody of the same element as you. And although they're the same element as you, you guys have you guys have entirely different views. I feel like if if you're not the one that's trying to control the person, um, it's more of the person trying to control you. Possibly the people that you're the person that you're involved with. Um, um, is very aggressive like when you want to speak to them or talk to them they're very they attack you you can't really talk to them very much okay it's kind of like I feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with a low self-esteem issue like it's like saying like they hurt you they're not nice to you they're not honest with you I feel like there's a lot of turbulence possibly for those of you who are in a relationship with that other person you might carry all the load and might have to do all the work and do everything by yourself I feel like my message for you is to really take time on to figure out if this is what you want um i feel like a lot of you guys might isolate yourself maybe you might spit, stop talking to certain people because the person that you're involved with doesn't like them or doesn't approve of you talking to them so i feel like your friends are like this big right now because you're letting the other person control your entire life or it's vice versa okay if this does not resonate remember that you have you can watch your moon and or rising sign um this is just a general reading guys so this doesn't pertain to a particular person okay so I feel like really following your intuition because if you're feeling at that point that this is not the person for you, I don't feel you're, you're ignoring it. I feel like you're, so a lot of you guys are, want that family picture and that family photo and everything to work out, but it, it's it's not exactly what's for you. I feel like there's a lot of arguments, a lot of disagreements. It's like you guys are like, I want to say... Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are codependent on the person that you're dating and it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be materialistic. I feel like it can be materialistic. Um, codependency also is emotionally. So I feel like emotionally a lot of you guys might feel like you can't leave the other person even though it's a toxic relationship. You might feel like you, you can't walk away because you know you can't live without them or you can't breathe or the person is going to kill themselves. I feel like even a lot of the person you might be dealing with as well might like threaten you and say, well if you leave me I'm gonna kill myself or I'm gonna kill you or something like it's one of those scenarios where it's very toxic the relationship is very toxic I feel like a lot of you guys can possibly be dealing with somebody as well that ignores your feelings doesn't listen to you I feel like it's one of those constant snagging situations where you're constantly nagging at the person and the person gets it's like to the point where they don't want to hear it anymore they're just like you know leave me alone I don't want to talk to you um, just let me be already because I'm just tired of the whole scenario. Have patience and have moderations. Remember that what you allow will continue because um, if you let somebody to treat you horribly, it will always be the same way. Things will not change. That person is not going to change. I feel like you have that hope that you can be one of those happy families and everything's going to be good, but I feel like that person is not changing. Um, they're not the traditional person to date. I feel like there's something wrong with them. Wrong with them in a mental sense is to say is that there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. There's a lot of things in 
with them emotionally that they have to deal with. There's something that's missing in their past or something that was absent in their past that they have a lot of anger issues about or, you know, vice versa. Again, like I said before, I feel like also it's one of those situations too where there's a lot of you guys who are coming are dealing with somebody but you're you're trying to get away from them but you feel like you're you know stuck to them or you're you know there's no way out to get away from them but I feel like it's more of a mental thing than it is a physical so remember that the chains are might be on but they're not clocked so since they're not locked, you have the ability to free yourself from that. Free yourself from any types of substances. For those of you who take any substances, make sure that you really take care of yourself and try to let ease some of that out because I feel like that's not good for you. That environment is negative and it's not good for you. Okay, so this also for me, this card right here, what I'm getting from here might be some type of separation or something from somebody. There's some type of restriction from that person. And although there's a restriction from a person or a place or thing, I feel like possibly there was a separation of something. But although there's that separation, I still feel like you're not done. There's not finished business. So um, possibly that separation could have happened because... Uh, a lot of you guys might have feel, feel like there's more to life, there's more to things, or possibly there's where there's a situation where you a lot of you guys might be feeling restricted from another person. Possibly you could have been in a relationship with somebody and then met someone else and then kind of walked away from the other person thinking that you you everything was the grass was greener on the other side and now you're to that point where it's like you realize that it's not on the other side. So now you're it's really hitting you and you're just like, man, you know, I shouldn't have walked away from that person. So there's a restriction of some kind from that other person okay um i feel like oh, if you want to contact that person you can do so but you really hurt that other person and you made the choice to walk away from that person so it's kind of like one of those scenarios where you really have to figure out what it is you want before you even try to attack talk to that person or approach that person because i feel like that person that you're going to approach is going to come off very strongly because they've been hurt although things might be a little bit rough for those of you who are in a relationship that are dealing with a some type of chaos in the relationship i still feel like you guys persevere you still hang on to the relationship because you're codependent on it um i feel like a lot of you guys might know that the person is not right for you but you still hold on to it and you still pull it up with all the bullshit because you feel like you have to like you won't be able to yes okay yeah so you still persevere anyways i feel like there's some type of trip or something coming your way or a message of some kind this is you and i feel like this person right that's the person you're dealing with and that person you're dealing a lot of you guys are dealing with a selfish person they kind of want to control you they're an authority figure they want to tell you what to do and when to do it they're not budging they're very selfish so whatever it is that they want it's only what it's only for them so i feel like a lot of you guys might see that point that they're very selfish and they don't care about anybody but themselves you see that but you don't know what to do you want the answers to your questions i feel like you guys are suffering a lot from this month for those of you who are aries uh financial financial instability is not uh good make sure you don't make any decisions as far as like money goes because i don't feel like you guys are very stable maybe you've got pro money issues money's not coming in the way that it's supposed to or i feel like this you you guys which is the aries are the person that are the um, bring in money every month and then the person that you're involved with is codependent on you okay so they're not working at the time or they're just they depend on you completely even if they are working they're even stingy with their money they will not help you it's their way or the highway they're trying to play like the father figure to you they want to tell you what to do and when to do it and that's not healthy that is not 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 healthy they're not I feel like they're more invested in themselves than they are into you Okay, and that's just for this, because I feel like you're still going to continue with them anyways. Okay, yeah, so that's what exactly what I was going to say. I feel like there's some type of disappointment. Somebody has some type of disappointment or regrets about the past. Okay, um, disappointments regarding their love. Um, if you see this card closely, I always like to explain this card because it has so much meaning into it. So much death. Um, although things are dark and gloomy, the person is looking at the cups that are spilled and not really looking at um, the two cups behind them. So if you're going through some type of loss or separation from a person and you have sadness, depression, or disappointed about situations or actions that you've taken in the past just be sure that whatever situation you're going through it's so that you can learn from it P rest assured okay because i feel like although you're going through stress or whatever you're going to come out of that um i feel like a lot of you guys might have trouble sleeping eating anxieties 
Um, if you're asking to meet a new love, for those of you who are single, you will be meeting a new love, I feel like. Um, that new love possibly could be at work, school, or you could meet it through like a mutual friend or something. Um, I also feel like that content, try not to result in going out, drinking, substances, having sex without love. I feel like for the single people, a lot of you guys might be going through a situation where you got went through a separation with somebody. Energies are scattered. You might be talking to multiple people. You're not really happy because you're, you're looking for something to fill that void. And I feel like a lot of you guys might be going out, having fun, drinking, celebrating, just sex without love. Nothing really serious, but... You're really seeking for something that's going to fulfill you. And you, you haven't found that yet. Okay, so be sure not to party too much, guys. Um, possibly a lot of you guys might too. Might contact, get in contact with somebody from the past. So that person you're restricted from, maybe you guys might get in contact with them again. Okay? Yeah, so somebody is going to... I feel like whoever you dealt with in the past... Um, can possibly be coming back to right their wrongs. Possibly say sorry. Maybe they might have ran away with your heart and never looked back. I left you there to fend for yourself, that separation. Or it could be you as well. I feel like a lot of you have walked away from a certain situation. You might be returning to tell that person that you're sorry. Um, make assessments, like I said before, before you decide to approach that person. Um, I feel like it's going to be a chance to start things new. So if you guys do want to go back and say you're sorry to that other person, I feel like they're waiting for you. But at the same time, just be sure to be ready to know that you're going to have to hear whatever they have to say. Um, but make sure that you really know that this is what you want because I feel like that person is not going to take any bullshit from you at all. So it's going to be yes or no and that's it. They're going to be very firm this time because they feel like you played around. Maybe you might be, you might return and not really think things tr through and possibly will be the same situation the first time around because I feel like you guys are not going to be thinking about it really how you're supposed to be thinking about it. Um naive-ish, kiddish way. I feel like you're not taking things seriously. So you, if you are going to go back and say sorry, get your shit together before you do it, okay? And for those of you who people are going to decide to come back to say they're sorry, um, don't make it easy for them. Because whatever comes easy, it's people don't tend not to appreciate it. So when things are you have to work a little bit harder for it, I feel like people appreciate it a little bit more. So make sure you, you make things... Don't make them eat. Don't make it easy for them, okay? Because they're always gonna feel like they're gonna have that chance to just, you know, uh, let it, let whatever they like talk to you whenever they want, and that's bullshit. I wouldn't let anybody do that to me. But anyways, so hopefully you guys like this reading. I took out three cards from the love deck, the romantic love deck. So the first one is new love. So those of you who are going to be having new loves, for those of you who are single, new love on your way. But first, I feel like you have to let go of the controlling issues. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I feel like a lot of you guys want to control each step in a relationship. And you can't do that. You have to live a little bit freely, okay? Try not to be the mother figure in the relationship. Let that go. You want somebody who's an adult and that can fend for themselves and are not codependent on you healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents possibly there's more there's more of an internal situation like i said before um uh, there's things that happened in the past that you've seen i feel like it's one of those situations where learn how to love yourself so that somebody else can love you because like i said before what you love will continue and if the, you continually picking the same person and you're just letting them abuse you or mentally abuse you physically abuse you it's like you're sitting there because you've seen it in the past i feel like Whatever you're putting up with has a lot to do with whatever happened in your childhood as you were growing up. 